Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice square root algebra problem. Square root of 4 plus square root of 7. We will solve it by two methods. So let's start with method 1. In this method, we suppose that this expression, let square root of 4 plus square root of 7 is equal to square root of a plus square root of b. Now we take square of both sides. Square root of 4 plus square root of 7 is equal to square root of a plus square root of b and we take square of both sides. Now this square will be cancelled out with this square root and at left side we are left with 4 plus square root of 7 is equal to by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. This square root of a plus square root of b whole squared is equal to square root of a squared plus square root of b squared plus 2 times square root of a times square root of b. Next, 4 plus square root of 7 is equal to, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with a plus this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with b plus 2 times this uh, square root of a times uh, square root of b will become square root of a times b. Now from this equation we make uh, two equations. We write this uh, a plus b equal to this 4 and we write this uh, square root of 2ab equal to this square root of 7. Like this uh, a plus b is equal to 4 and uh, 2 times square root of AB is equal to square root of 7 and from this equation we take uh, square of uh, both sides. Square of 2 is 4 and uh, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with A times B is equal to this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with 7. Now from this equation if we move this a to the right side then b will be equal to 4 minus a. And in place of this b we put this value of b 4 minus a. Then this equation will become 4 times a times value of b is 4 minus a is equal to 7. Next, 4a times 4, 16 times a and 4a times negative a, negative 4a squared is equal to 7. Now, we move this 16a and this negative 4a squared to the right side. 4a squared minus 16a plus 7 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. So we solve it by factorization. We write this 4a squared 4 times a squared and we split this negative 16a as we split this negative 16a as negative 2a minus 14a plus this 7 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms we can factor out 2a. 2a as a common factor and in brackets left 2a minus 1 and from these two terms we can factor out negative 7 in bracket left 2a minus 1 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression 2a minus 1 this expression 2a minus 1 is a common factor. So we factor out this 2a minus 1 and in bracket left this 2a and this negative 7. In bracket left 2a minus 7 
is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression 2a minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression 2a minus 7 is equal to 0. From this equation a is equal to 1 over 2 and from this equation a is equal to 7 over 2. Now to find the values of b we recall the equation. We recall this equation that b is equal to 4 minus a. We recall this equation b is equal to 4 minus a. When a is equal to 1 over 2 then b will be equal to 4 minus 1 over 2 and b is equal to we can write this 4 as 8 over 2 minus this 1 over 2. Next b is equal to 8 over 2 minus 1 over 2 is equal to 7 over 2. Now when a is equal to 7 over 2 when b will be equal to 4 minus 7 over 2. Next b is equal to this 4 can be written as 8 over 2 minus this 7 over 2 and b is equal to 8 over 2 minus 7 over 2 1 over 2. So in each case either a is equal to 1 over 2 and b is equal to 7 over 2 or a is equal to 7 over 2 and b is equal to 1 over 2. So we select these two values a is equal to 7 over 2 and b is equal to 1 over 2. Now recall that we have supposed We have supposed that square root of 4 plus square root of 7 is equal to square root of a plus square root of b. We have supposed that square root of 4 plus square root of 7 is equal to square root of a plus square root of b. Now in place of this a we write this value 7 over 2 then this becomes square root of 7 over 2 plus and in place of this b we write this value 1 over 2 and this becomes square root of 1 over 2. Next now this square root of 7 over square root of 2 can be written as square root of 7 divided by square root of 2 plus this square root of 1 over 2 can be written as square root of 1 divided by square root of 2 and we take a common denominator square root of 2 and this square root of 7 will come here square root of 7 plus this square root of 1 will come here and square root of 1 square root of 1 is equal to 1. So we write here 1. Now we notice that the denominator of this expression is not rational. So to make this rational we multiply and divide this expression by square root of 2 and this square root of 2 times square root of 7 will become square root of 14 plus this square root of 2 times 1 square root of 2 divided by this square root of 2 times the square root of 2 will become 2. So this expression square root of 4 plus square root of 7 is equal to this expression square root of 14 plus square root of 2 over 2. This is the final answer of this problem. Now let's solve this question by method 2. In this method we multiply and divide this expression 4 plus square root of 7 by 2 like this square root of we multiply this expression by 2 2 times 4 plus square root of 7 and we divide this expression by 2 next square root of 
now this 2 times 4 will become 8 plus 2 times square root of 7 2 times square root of 7 divided by 2 next square root of now this square root of 7 can be written as this square root of 7 can be written as square root of 7 times 1 and this 8 can be written as this 8 can be written as 7 plus 1 so we write this 8 as 7 plus 1 plus we write this 2 times square root of 7 as 2 times square root of 7 times 1 divided by this 2 next square root of now we want to write this expression in the form of this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is equal to a plus b whole squared so we write this 7 as we write this 7 as square root of 7 squared plus we write this 1 as 1 squared plus this 2 times square root of 7 times 1 divided by this 2 next square root of now as this a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is equal to this a plus b whole squared this square root of 7 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 times square root of 7 times 1 can be written as square root of 7 plus 1 whole squared divided by this 2 now by using this property square root of a over b is equal to square root of a over square root of b this expression can be written as square root of square root of 7 plus 1 whole squared divided by square root of 2 next this square will be cancelled out with this square root and in the numerator we are left with square root of 7 plus 1 divided by this square root of 2 now to rationalize this denominator we multiply and divide this expression by square root of 2 and this is equal to square root of 2 times square root of 7 will become square root of 14 plus square root of 2 times 1 square root of 2 divided by this square root of 2 times square root of 2 will become 2 so by using this method we get the same answer as we get by using method 1